I'm here with Coach Jason Brown. Okay, tough loss to Harwich. Let's talk a little bit about Boyd's performance. Well, he threw the ball really well. Uh, you know, in the innings that he threw, gave up a couple of runs and made a mistake behind him to uh, give him at least one of those, maybe both of them. So, you know, what Matty does is throws a mix of pitches and really disrupts hitters' timing. Uh, facing Harwich, that's a really good lineup, a lot of good hitters in that lineup. So uh, I thought he pitched very well. Okay, going to Harwich, you guys knew that Austin Wilson wasn't going to be in the lineup that day. How did you deal with that? What, was, what were you expecting out of that? <laughs> Well, it's uh, yeah, Wilson uh, not being in the lineup, big loss for Harwich, I think. But that lineup, uh, it is full of good hitters, top to bottom. Um, uh, physical guys that could really swing the bat. So not having them in the middle like they have, uh, I'm sure that is a loss. But they've got reinforcements. That's uh, Harwich is a good team and a lot of good hitters. And so it wasn't like uh, Wilson being in there, we could uh, you know take it easy or breathe a sigh of relief. Uh, those guys that are around him. Um, a lot of really good hitters and, and really good lineup. So whenever we play Harwich, we got our hands full. All right, we need to talk about LaBruna again. I know we've talked to him, I've talked about him a lot. He's up to five home runs now. He's continuing to perform. What are your thoughts on that? Well, he, he's doing it. He, uh, uh, yeah, put in a lot of hard work and really has earned that spot as shortstop. Um, you know, to be out there every night and uh, he just he just keeps squaring the ball up. You know, um, doing a great job. Uh, especially recently, just, yeah, hitting home runs, driving guys in, you know, some big RBIs, two out RBIs. Uh, the home runs, obviously, are what's most visible, uh, and also doing a great job at shortstop, really kind of uh, being a leader in the, in the middle for us and uh, making a lot of nice plays. He's made a, like that Jeter play that he made in the hole the other night and some other really nice ones at big times to, uh, to pick us up defensively. So doing a great job and deserves to be out there every night like he is. Speaking of the defensive team, we don't talk too, too much about that. Can we talk a little bit more about that and what, what do you think is going well out there and stuff like that with Riddle and Gregor and everyone out there? Yeah, I think uh, those guys just, you know, as they've played more together are more and more comfortable out there playing with each other. Um, and it's they're doing a great job making plays defensively. You know, it, in this league, especially with all that is working against hitters, uh, if you pitch, you throw strikes, and, and play defense, you're going to have a you're going to be in every game. You're going to have a chance uh, every night. So, um, yeah, we've been doing that, and you know, been playing some close ones, won some and won, lost some, but uh, I think we've been in. Um, almost all of them recently. So, yeah, it's great to see those guys out there gelling like they are. All right, one player we're expecting a lot of out of this season. Played great at Arkansas, Ficicello. What is he working on lately? And he keeps finding his way into the lineup there. Yeah, he is. He, well, he's swinging the bat a lot uh, better lately. You know, got up here and it's uh, different. Come from college, the aluminum bat. It's an adjustment for everybody, but uh, Arkansas being in the World Series, got a little later start. So. Um, really, you know, switch hitter, great addition to our lineup, uh, and he's he's been swinging the bat a lot better lately. Uh, doesn't always show up in the box score, but just the swings, the foul balls, the takes, he's just, he looks like he's a lot more comfortable um, and is on time a lot more. You know, it, it, with his swing and his approach, uh, has a little bit more going on than some guys, but uh, when he coordinates that and, and is on time, um, yeah, he, you know, real handsy, and he's a dangerous hitter. So we're happy to have him. Uh, happy to have him in the lineup. All right, you had 30 on the official roster. You're down to 26 now. How do you have to deal with that as a coach, especially most of them being pitchers? Well, it's yeah, things always change. You know, when we sit in that coaching office, and 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 uh, as the date comes closer to uh, when we need that roster set. You know, there's a lot that we talk about, but one thing that we always got to be reminded of is things always change. So Kelly said starting this season like we did with 30 guys on the roster, which is the maximum number, we've never done that before. He's never done that before. Um, and, you know, now we're down to 26. We've lost some guys, uh, unfortunately, but like the guys that we have left, it's, you know, 26 is a good group of guys. And I think um, it, it, what it does is it gets it, it, it gets guys in the lineup more, more consistently. You, you know, guys aren't uh, not looking for ways to get them in as much as when you have that many position players and that many pitchers where you're looking for innings from the pitchers and um, trying to get everybody enough playing time. Uh, it makes it a little easier with 26, but you know the 
shoot, the guys that we lost and um, uh, the guys that we started with, you know, we'd love to have them, but like we say, things always, always seem to change. It's unpredictable. All right, Arakawa had a great start against Bourne recently. Should we expect the same thing out of him tonight? Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, it's great to have him back in the rotation and his last start uh, pitched really well. You know, does what he does, throwing strikes and mixing pitches, um, throwing his off speed for strikes and, and fastball counts. And he just, uh, he does a good job um, of disrupting timing. A lot like Matt Boyd, uh, might not throw as hard, but, but locates his fastball and does a very good job of, of mixing pitches and throwing strikes and forcing guys to swing the bat and put the ball in play. Great, thank you. Good luck tonight. This is Imano. That was Coach Jason Brown. I'm sending it back to you two for more pregame.